What's going on guys, Devil Laser is back and I promise, I promise that I will be making a video every single week, at least one a week, alright, and it should be following the Raw that happened on that week. So here we go, the Raw for February 21st, 2011, here's my review or thoughts. I don't want to do reviews, fuck reviews, I'll just do some thoughts, because I am not a critic, I am not professional, I will not claim to be, because if I start spewing out ratings, people are going to start saying, oh, well, fuck, you're wrong, oh, you're wrong, well, fuck you, if I say my thoughts, well, what are you going to say, oh, you're wrong, fuck you, it's my thoughts, alright, so, here we go without further ado, Raw, February 21st, 2011, ditto, alright, now, I love this Raw, and, um, personally, I think it was better than last week's Raw, alright, my opinion, again, um, the night started with John Cena coming out, which, oh my god, he came out and said, well, I better freestyle against The Rock, so, because, you know, I can't let him one-up me, which is perfectly honest, because if you just have The Rock, you know, tearing, tearing John Cena's asshole out, you're gonna have problems, and, you know, obviously John Cena's gonna look like a bitch, and you don't want that happening to your main star, so, obviously he came out, and what he did made me shit my asshole out, because he basically said, for one night, I don't fucking believe it, because I honestly think he's gonna go back to his, uh, thugonomic gimmick, but he did that freestyle shit that he used to do back in 05, and I was like, God, yes, and then he started talking shit, like, he started making these innuendo jokes, like, oh, well, you're like this, this purple, uh, windmill so you can blow me and it was like come on that's fucking great the kids won't understand it but at least the adults will understand and respect the maturity that john cena is bringing to the table instead of jbl is duty i remember that uh john cena i remember that um so yeah that was pretty cool uh next thing i believe was the miz coming out there was there was a couple matches i forgot what match was after that I didn't really focus too much on the matches as much as the promos, but I promise as the weeks uh, progress, because I'm starting to get back into wrestling, so I can't just, you know, jump into a match like that. But, no, I think it was um, Morrison versus uh, Punk, and I believe that was a very good match. Uh, I still think that whole limping shit, they need to work on that. <laughs> like, oh, well, he's, he's hitting the injured leg. No, he's not as the other leg. Oh, well, fucking get your facts straight. Um, but other than that, I still like the match, because they're both great competitors, and, you know, yada, yada, yada. All right, now, uh, next, I believe, was Miz coming out and talking trash about The Rock, just like John Cena, because, um, you know, he didn't want to get shit on by The Rock either, because, obviously, he's the champion. What's worse than, you know, the champion being shit on? There's nothing. Um, and then he came out, cut a very nice promo. I, I do have respect for The Miz. I know I've talked shit about him. I know I've said bad things about him, but... I honestly have to respect the man, because he is good at what he does. Um, after that was Alberto Del Rio. I don't know too much about him, but I do respect the man, because he is going over past the point of insanity for being a heel. And I respect that, because he is, oh, he is godlike. Um, but he came out and attacked Kofi Kingston, and that was pretty... Well, actually, Kofi Kingston attacked him, and then he turned it around and beat the shit out of Kofi Kingston. And that was pretty cool, and Kofi Kingston, you know, sold it pretty well. And, uh, you know, that was the end of that, because uh, Alberto, ah, Alberto Del Rio is a dickhead. Um, then after that was the women's match, didn't watch it. I don't think anybody should ever feast their eyes upon a, feast their eyes upon a Divas match in the WWE, because they're garbage, they're gutter trash, and you should go take a shit, because that's the only time you're going to get nowadays taking a shit during WWE. And then after that was the whole um, 221.11 thing. Everybody thought it was Sting. If you thought it was Sting, you were fucking retarded. Because, first of all, A. Uh, well, for, actually, personally, in the beginning, I thought it was Sting. So, retardation, alright? But, you know, once they, once they started showing who the fuck it was in the vignettes, it was like, oh, well, you know, now they're just getting stupid with it. It's The Undertaker. Sting don't look like that. And then, you know, Ain't No Grave going, or Ain't No uh, Hole or Dirt going to bear. I don't fucking know what the song was, but it was something about being buried alive, and obviously the last thing Undertaker did was get buried alive. But what I don't get is why the fuck every time Undertaker takes a leave of absence and comes back, they always do this shit. They always have to make a fucking video package. Not just one. They made three video packages for his return. And I think it was bullshit. Like, come on, they need to calm down. Um, 
but yeah, he came back, alright, everyone's like, oh yeah, Undertaker, he's like, okay, that was cool, and then Triple H comes out, and then I'm thinking to myself, oh shit, ten years ago, WrestleMania 17, they had a pretty awesome match, you know, and uh, what, what better way to recreate it, this WrestleMania is going to blow your fucking mind, it doesn't matter what you say, your thoughts are wrong, I can't say that, because then I'd be fucking, you know, hypocritical, but... I, I think it's going to be awesome. And I'm going to buy it. I promise. Maybe. Um, okay. But. Triple H comes out. They have this little uh, silent talk. Or silent promo. It's pretty cool. I thought this thing was going to come out. I really. I, 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 I'm still at that point of still believing that he can come in. But, you know. Uh, it's starting to simmer down. Um, but then Undertaker, you know, says, nah, and then he comes back, does a little throat thing, and then Triple H says, suck it, and then Undertaker's like, oh, okay, and then they fade to black. And then, um, after that, I think there's a couple matches. I think there's a Mark Henry match. Fucking Mark Henry, that dude needs to leave the company, if anybody needs to leave. Um, didn't watch too much of that. What else happened? How can I forget such an amazing Raw? Um, oh no, I do know that uh, Jerry the King Lawler came out, and uh, they did that whole thing with um, Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler. I don't care what you guys say, Jerry the King Lawler is an amazing fucking man. He is an amazing man. And what he's doing right now is cool, because it's like he's like one of the last legends. Like, he's fucking dead old, and he's still out there. And, you know, all he wants to do is go to WrestleMania. He's never done it. And it's like, okay, just fucking go once. What, what's the harm? He's not a very, he's not a bad talent. It's not like he's shitty. He still has it. He still has the, uh, you know, the wrestling ability of uh, anybody else. If fucking the great Kali is out there doing what he's doing, fucking the king can do it. But um, Cole is a dickhead. All right? I gotta say, Cole is a fucking dickhead. And, um, he said some bad shit about his, um, the King's mom, and obviously that got to him. And then, uh, King said, well, you know what, you wanna fight me? Then we'll have a match, and winner gets to go to WrestleMania. I promise you, if fucking Cole wins, I'll never turn my t I'll sell my TV. I'll sell everything that has a projector on it. I will sell it. Um... But, yeah, Cole ran away like a bitch, and, uh, because, you know, he's through water, and you, 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 I hope this goes somewhere good, because if they fuck this up, I'll be upset, but for the most part, that was pretty, uh, amazing what they did, and then they had, um, the final match of the night was John Cena and, uh, The Miz versus the core members, and then, oh, this is where it fucking struck me, like, oh, what the fuck are they doing, and then, um, it was John Cena and The Miz, and they were b obliterating uh, the core. Obliterating. I cannot emphasize that word enough. Obliterating the core. And then, you know, they fucking win. It's like, oh, well, cool. And then, <laughs> fucking, then, you know, Wade Barrett's like, oh, we're invoking, or we're, in, yeah, invoking our rematch clauses. Okay, like, they always fucking do that. It's like Wade Barrett's the only smart man that says, oh, we have this, we have rematch clauses, why don't we fucking use this, nobody else fucking does that, it's, it's like a money in the bank, in a way, it's like, oh, well, we can do this whenever we want, oh, well, fuck, let's do it, um, and then they do it, and then they have a better match after that, and, um, I believe, it, it was interesting in, in the sense that, you, you saw John Cena and The Miz start to work together, and then, you know, you had this, this smatter of, uh, this, like, little chants and, and cheers for The Miz. You think that they're gonna work together so well, but at the last minute, Miz turns on Cena. And, obviously, they had to do that. But, uh, it's in the books that fucking Cena and The Miz are, uh, fucking, you know, tag team champions, blah, blah, blah. Always just doing the smallest shit to give people belts. But, um... Honestly, they need to stop shitting on the core, or just remove the core. Fuck the core. Who wants the core? It's just a fucking way to keep Wade Barrett in charge of somebody, because uh, Wade Barrett's probably garbage singles in singles uh, competition. If he's not in charge of other guys, he's useless. That's what I believe. But uh, I say give him a fucking chance. Um, other than that, the Raw was amazing. I, if I were to give it a review, fuck it, I'm not even gonna give it a review. I thought it was good. 
If you guys don't, comment. If you guys don't want to comment, don't comment. Just fucking thumbs the video down. But if you liked it and you don't want to leave a comment, thumbs it up or leave a comment. Or video response or talk to me. I'm lonely. Okay, no. I, I, I am lonely. But other than that, peace out, guys. Till next Monday. This is Devil Laser. On my Android. I just thought I'd point that out. Bye.